What's up, all you car maniacs out there? This is Scott Camo, the Forger of Pain, baby! We're here at the E3 PlayStation Conference for press conference for Latin America, and I'm here with two indie developers. I'm here with Alex and Victor from Venezuela, and I just played an awesome platformer. And I, you know, guys, if you've seen the channel, if you've seen the show, you know I'm an old fart and I'm a retro guy, and retro is the way to go, baby. So I just play a game, it's a platform called Claws, and it's pretty awesome, but I'm gonna let uh, my friends talk about it. So we have here Victor, he's the mastermind. That's what I've heard of, but not really. Like, joking aside, I love the game, Victor. I like it that um, it was pretty intuitive. I only died like three times. And um, here, my friend Alex, he showed me the controls. The controls were pretty basic. Like with X, you jump. And with the L button, you run, you sprint, and you know, double X, you double jump. Really, that like the basic platforming things. And really, they're like, you know, they're, they're, they're tapped into our brains. Yeah, once you know the, you, you know, you know, you practically, you know how to play it uh, once you, you grab it on the first time in your hands. So, Victor, tell me a little more about the game, especially the story. Uh, for the most part, you know, platforms are not very, like, story-driven games. But I like this one, the story, um, once you progress in the game, uh, it comes with little subtitles and stuff, and it makes you think, and you go like, oh, my God, what's going on here? And I can even dare to say, correct me if I'm wrong, that it's breaking the fourth wall, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes, that's how I noticed because, you know, I was, uh, I was playing as a guy, and then like uh, you move this little platforms, you use the the, the touch the touchpad and um, and the analog stick. And when you move it, when you move it, the guy is like, "Who's there? Uh, oh, that was creepy. How did that move?" And stuff like that. So I, I felt that way. So it's supposed to be that way, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Klaus is a 2D puzzle platformer game with an existentialism problem. For saying a way, he's having problems there he doesn't know who he is he doesn't know anything about it and he just figured out like he's been controlled by you at this point so it's about this player character relation that we have along uh, through all the game breaking the four world not only in a narrative way also in a gameplay level later he will find some other characters he will progress in the story so basically that's it you know and we are trying to use like the classic to the platformer kind of controls but with a uh, with a twist because you can also use the touchpad and different aspects even the PS4 we use the touchpad and it and it's amazing I have to tell that it, it plays really well in a competitive way we have speed runs and everything in the game oh great yes uh, tell me a little bit about about the, the modes Alex uh, well so far what you I shown you was the classic mode the story mode this is where the bulk of our work comes in this is where we show you both our storytelling and the hardcore aspects of our game this is also where you're going to have collectibles and bosses that are going to be puzzle based. Basically, uh, there's going to be uh, five worlds uh, and uh, each world is going to be different with the exception of the last world, which we're going to keep under wraps for now. Uh, but it's going to be very interesting. If you guys watch our live trailer, there's some indication of that in there. Uh, secondly, there's the arcade mode, which we really try to tailor to the speedrunners. Uh, the speedrunners are really special to us and we feel like they should have something more out of the game, not just the scores. So we're trying to bring them into this competitive world and show that Klaus can be a hardcore game. This is where we're going to have leaderboards, this is where people are going to compete with each other, but are still going to learn about the character of Klaus. So uh, we're trying to, you know, as you said, we're trying to bring stories into platforming, a place where stories don't usually shine as much and not deep, they're entertaining but not deep and we're really trying to go deep with the story. So those are the two modes. Uh, so the build that I played, uh, I had a couple of levels, but it was more than enough to, to you know, have the feeling of the game. And I can totally say with, really with knowledge, as a gamer since I was freaking four years old, that uh, I recommend this game, really. So the game is coming on August. You have a, like an exact date. Not yet, but we're soon to just announce it. Yeah. Okay, the game is coming on August on the PlayStation Vita and the PlayStation 4. Guys, I want to thank you. Thank you, Alex. Uh, thank you, Victor. Uh, really, I like your game. And be sure to check Karkamo.com for more content, for more awesomeness, for more 
in the goodness. And remember, you know, share, leave your comments, and like or die.